I'm Leslie Rhodes, I'm Professor of Experimental Dermatology and Director of the Photobiology Unit at the University of Manchester and Salford Royal Foundation Hospital. We performed this study because we wanted to understand better the influence of skin tone on the balance between the risks and benefits of sunlight exposure of the skin. Whereas we know quite a, quite a bit about the effect of sunlight in producing vitamin D in paler skin people, we don't know enough about the hazards or the benefits and hazards in darker skin. We recruited volunteers of a full range of skin types from the very lighter skin through to the very darkest skin. And then we exposed them to doses of sunlight that were below each individual's sunburn threshold. We personalised the doses to their sunburn threshold because that is what the sun exposure campaign recommends. And then following each dose of sunlight, we took skin biopsies to look at the amount of DNA damage caused in the skin cells. DNA damage is the first step in the, in the skin cancer pathway and we also looked at its repair. Alongside we took blood samples to see how much vitamin D was gained. We found that with doses related to the sunburn threshold that everybody gained the same amount of vitamin D and this shows that sunlight exposure can be beneficial for everybody regardless of skin type. We also found that at those doses, they all had the same amount of DNA damage. However, when we looked at the distribution of the DNA damage across the skin, from its superficial to its deep layers, we found there was a striking gradient of DNA damage that strongly correlated with skin darkness. So what that meant was that in the darkest skin types, Virtually all the DNA damage occurred superficially with very little in the sensitive basal cells which are most at risk of generating skin cancer. However, in the lighter skin people, the DNA damage occurred equally across the depth of the skin. So even when we applied exquisitely low doses of sunlight, we found that that still generated damage in the sensitive basal cells. This means that the darker skinned people can safely gain their vitamin D from sunlight exposure, keeping below their sunburn threshold. However, in the lighter skinned people, we've shown that even doses way below their sunburn threshold can cause DNA damage and consequently they need to take extra care with sun exposure. These findings will be highly relevant to public health bodies in formulating their sun exposure recommendations for, for people throughout the skin type range.